My friends, welcome to episode 6 of the 7 Days to Die series where me and I'm the James play for 100 days. Last episode we left off with both of us trying to scaffold down this entire tower, but if you haven't seen the other episodes, I highly advise you to go check those out. The series has been a lot of fun so far. If you guys are finding yourselves enjoying this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and also head over to I'm the James's channel and let's try to get my boy to a thousand subscribers. Anyways, let's get on with it. My goodness, dude. That was crazy. It was. Um, I think we have enough ammo to survive like the next three horde days. After me and James talked for a little bit, I figured that I wanted to spend the next few days working on our horde base because it was outdated and we really needed to get it down right. So we came to the ultimate decision that James would go off on his own for the next few days and loot hunt and do whatever else he wanted to do while I worked on the base and basically talk to you guys through everything I'm doing with the base. I want to let you guys know my thought processes and everything else that's going to be going on when I'm building and and I didn't want to look up any tutorials, so this should be fun. But first things first, I had to spend half a day getting home because we were over six kilometers away. Oh, boys, we made it. Home sweet home. It's been forever since we've been here. What? Well, it's been over six, seven days. I need to rebuild this fence trap, put the blade traps down. I kind of want to redo this whole walkway. When I first got back home, I deposited most of the ammo that we found along our journey, and uh, our deposits were looking pretty good. What do we have going on in this forge right now? A bunch of steel in here. And after some inventory cleanup, I decided to get started on the base design. So, sit back and relax and enjoy me being stupid. Rotate that. Okay. And then... Like so. So now the zombies can run up easily. No! I <laughs> Keep doing that. Okay. Perfect. So now the zombies can come up here with ease. Okay, so when they run up, I want them to all fall into this hole, right? No, I want it to be closer to me. So that was pretty stupid. I shouldn't have done that. Those are quite expensive. Okay, so that's fine. We're just going to do these, but let's see what other shapes we can work with here. I don't know what to use for this. Oh, cube centered. I don't know what I'm supposed to use. Okay, if I do that, the, okay, yeah, this is the one I want to use. So we'll do these on both sides. That way the zombies funnel perfectly. Okay, there we go. Now the zombies are going to get caught on that. So I kind of want, I guess, pick those up. Now let's find the correct shape for this. I don't even know where to begin on how to find this shape that I want. Maybe it's a wedge. Maybe let's just try a ramp and see where this gets us. That'll work, right? That should work. Because that'll funnel them in. And if they run back, whatever, they get stuck. But that at least funnels them in. So that should work. So now what I want to do is I think I want to drop out the floor right here. And they'll never be able to jump in here because we're, we're boxed in. So let's go ahead and make a hole on both sides right here. Okay, now I don't know. I think I should do this three or four long. Probably three three maybe we'll start with three and see how that looks i think i should probably make this four long and i'm just now thinking about this but i don't think three long is going to be enough because we have uh, we have cranked up the horde night zombies to 32 instead of six i don't know why it was on six to begin with but if that's the case this is not going to uh it's not going to be enough nowhere near enough space for that many zombies so boom boom Boom. So what is it? so what do I have to do here to get this how I want it? I have to dig out the floor like that. Okay, I see. Okay, and now I should be able to place frame shapes in here like this. Yep, I'm correct. Okay, cool. Now I just have to break through the rest of these walls. Okay, we have finished carving out what we need to carve out. The zombies can fall through, run back around. I hope this design is good enough. Now I just have to repair this stuff. I want to make the edges of this and like maybe the inside forged steel. I want to make this forged steel because I don't know how much your own explosives damage your base. I guess we'll find out on Horde Night. Okay, so I need to make these walls higher. 
And then I need to put a roof on this so the jumpers can't jump all the way over here. And also, if these walls are here, the zombies can run to us as well. So I don't, I don't actually see a reason for this. Um, I might have to break these out and do another situation like that. No, I don't want to break more. What I can also do, it might be able to help a little bit, is if I put some blade traps down there. Or I could put some blade traps along this section. So as they're falling, they get like sliced up. That might work. Okay. I think I should actually do these four high. Okay, now let's do normal shapes for the ceiling. That looks like it should be good. That's plenty of space. All right, now let's do the last three ramps on either side. Actually, we need to do one, two, three, four. Then we need to do shapes, wedges, ramps. All right, so if they run on top of each other, whatever, they run, sh th this, this guides them in nicely. I think even if this doesn't hold all of the zombies back, it'll at least hold a big bulk of them. So it should be like enough to keep us alive for a while. Now, I hope this design works because I'm going to upgrade all of this. See how that looks from the outside. That looks pretty cool, man. I am not gonna lie, that looks sick. I just hope it works. So while the cobblestone's crafting, I guess I should probably just do this stuff to forge steel. That would be here, here, here. Okay, let's fix this. <laughs> the best part about being rich in this game, like I have over 60 grand, the best part about being rich, and that's probably not even rich, but it's the fact that you can just buy all your resources instead of having to farm because I'm just letting you know right now, farming is not my favorite thing. I don't like playing farming simulators. I like to actually play the game. Us doing a lot of grinding early on and getting a bunch of money was actually super helpful in the late game. Like way more than we ever knew it would be. All right, I'll eventually tune that up so I can, so I'm just doing this for now so I can walk on it. But if I put electric traps here, and then on the other side, the wire only passes through the wall so that all you see in here is the wire and then I believe the way that I can keep the electric trap repaired the whole time and keep it going is if the last chain or the last electric trap in the chain is in the base. That way I can keep repairing it. So if I have it like that, then the zombies can't even damage the electric traps or do it like hit them or anything. We can't accidentally shoot them and they just run through the wires right here. I think that is a solid plan. And then I could do blade traps at the bottom there. I w how am I going to wire this? What the hell? How am I going to do this? I think this is going to snap before I even get there. What have I done? Bro, <laughs> I'm so confused. This is what I did last time. I actually ended up not being able to figure out the electric trap situation, so I decided I would save it for a later date and just use the blade traps for now. I'll just worry about it in the future. I think for now I'm fine with just shooting them down here. All right, blade traps at the bottom. Let's just do blade traps. You know, as far as wiring goes, those are 20 watts a piece. <laughs> All right. Wiring this last one to the generator. This power source cannot have a parent connection. What? Brother, I am so confused, man. I'm having problems with this connectivity thing. Those are all connected now. I think I was just doing it wrong. Now, if I turn this on. That's crazy. Okay, so the blade traps do work. 
It'll just chop them up, man. All right, that's pretty cool. Now, how would I wire these? So it wanted me to do bing, bing, bing. So from this one, can I wire it there? Yes. And from there, I'd have to wire it there. Okay. You're gonna be uh, in shock when you see what I've done with this base. Yeah, I'm excited. Wait, did you up the zombie count? The zombie count? No, it's just the horde day count. So they're gonna run down this aisle trying to get to us. They're gonna immediately fall in the blade traps, get chopped up, and it should be an infinite loop of them trying to run back up and get in here. Little did we know, our whole world was about to come crashing down on us. Oh, hold on. There's one coming up. See if they... Oh, let me see if she chases me. Okay, yeah. Get up here and let's let's see what happens. They attack the wall. Dude, why is that happening, man? All right, let me see what happens when I pick this up. The design just sucks. Don't be so hard on yourself. Though my makeshift corridor wasn't working, I do have some good news. While James was out and exploring, doing his own thing while I was building this base, he came across the Red Mesa in the wasteland and he marked it on his map. So we're heading there. There's a big base. Wait, are there landmines? There is a ton of landmines. What is this? Is this the... Hold on. What's eh. up? Red Mesa restricted area. We have found it, boys. There's a lot of zombies. I thought this was just a base. No. Oh. Oh my gosh, the Mega Crush makes you so fast. Yeah. Oh yeah, okay. dude, this you place is massive. Oh, you are down there. Okay, okay. Ooh. Dude, this place is huge. It is. Oh my god. Oh, dude, they see how many floors there are? Wait, hold on. I, I feel like the loot tier is so good right now. What is it? 242. That's that pro level, baby. Have we already been in here? Dude, I'm losing track. So I think we have to break through one of these doors or go through this. Oh, go through this. Okay. Dude, what is this? This is it? Is it just a dead end? No. No, come in here. Oh. Oh, this place is so confusing. What on earth are we doing right now? It just keeps going, man. Yeah, I'm beyond lost. Okay, tier 6 club rocket launcher parts. I could care less about any of that. There's stairs right up here. Oh, oh, get in here. Oh, we found it. Wait, this is locked. Um, I'm gonna have to defend this. Uh, you keep defending, I'll keep picking my nose. Bro. Why is there so many zombies? I have a ton. Okay. So steel chest armor. Four bottles of acid. Ooh, I, I think we have that, but whatever. Silver nugget, I'll take that. Nice, nice. Oh, yeah, I will go ahead and unlock these. I feel like we didn't explore this whole place. There's gotta be so much more to it than that. What, is it just this? Yeah. yeah. We kind of zoomed through it, too. We really did. A lot of you have been asking me to show what I've been leveling, so here you go. Who's the real team player? Yep, I can craft a 4x4 four four truck now. What? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't have any frame shapes on me, otherwise I would check. Oh my god, that scared the... Oh. Oh, dude. While we take most of the day to travel back home, I'd like to take this moment to yet again thank you guys for all of the love that you've shown to this series so far. It means the world to me and James. But as you guys know, Horde Day is right around the corner, so it's time to see if my base design actually works or if it's a complete flop. All right, so the truck chassis is so expensive, but I have it crafting. And then the accessories. All right, I have the chassis and the accessories crafting. And then after all of that, then I can craft the truck. When I tell you guys I have skimmed through six hours of footage trying to find where I got this assault rifle, I got not a single clue. Yeah, this uh, tactical assault rifle looks pretty sick. 
It does. It does look good. All right. The truck stuff is going to take a while. We should probably just head over to our horde base and hope for the best. James also had a few light bulbs that he placed down and I got wired up and it made a huge difference in our lives. Boom. Look at that. Oh, wow. So bright. All right. Um, you should definitely get in here. I'm going to turn these blade traps on. All right, yeah, yeah. Here we go, baby. Oh, I forgot to reload my guns. All right, I'm keeping this open. Put the walls up, put yep, the yep, walls yep, up. Yep, yep. Headshots all day, baby. We got this. I wonder if any of them are falling into the trap or they're just all attacking that wall for some reason. Yeah, that wall is their target. All right, those juggernaut dudes, we got to shoot those in the head. If you shoot them in the chest, it blows up. I want to shoot them in the chest. That would be a, a rough move there, huh? so many of them there is man they are destroying those walls they're piling up man yeah maybe we aren't ready for this oh we are definitely ready for this bro I i'm in third person are you hold how'd you, on how'd you do it i, am I don't know i think it's glitch through ammo hold on yeah, if you have any grenades, now's the time to throw them. I don't, bro, but I'm <laughs> I'm playing it third person somehow. <laughs> what is this, dude? Oh, the blade trap's broken. What is their obsession with the wall, man? This is not going how I wanted it to. They are just trying so hard. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get grenades. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Yeah, it is. I don't know how to use these. There we oh, go. No way. Yo, something. They're they're breaking our wall out. Oh god. Oh god. Why can't I repair my guns? Oh. I don't know what they're doing out there, man. Dude, I can't even. My game is like bugging out. There's like 30 of them out there. <laughs> They're Bro, breaking I in! I can't switch my guns! <laughs> no, dude, no! What's in here? How is someone in here? What's what's happening, bro? They're crawling in, bro! They're crawling in! <laughs> James! No! No, 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 no! <laughs> James! <laughs> Bro. I need you! I can't switch my guns, bro. I can't do anything. They're breaking it any second now. Alright, you have your motorcycle ready or no? <laughs> no, it's in the base! <laughs> this isn't where we die, bro! I can't, dude. I can't do anything. It's all on you. I can't shoot. James, I can't James, I. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do this, man. We're so dead. We're so dead. Yes, you can. You can do it. I believe in you. They're going for the weakest point. I'm glad I upgraded these to heavier iron. No, please. No, please. No, please. Dude, they're just attacking whatever they want. They don't care. The lights are broken. We got, one, we got one one hour left. One hour of this? They're breaking in that soon, James. They're breaking they, in soon. Bro, there's one in here. I can't do anything. He's behind Where is you. he? Where is he? James, they're about to all bust in right now. I know. I'm about to leave. All right. Dip, 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 dip. Run. <laughs> Where's my motorcycle? Where's my motorcycle? No, please. No, please. Come on. 
place it down. Ride it. Go. <laughs> I can't interact. Yo, the vultures, they're so fast. The vultures are so fast. I can't. I'm The vultures, man. Oh, I'm so dead. Oh, I have to do it in third person. James, we're in. We have 30 seconds. I'm going back. I'm going back. The vultures are so fast. I'm I'm all kinds of dead, bro. I'm jacked up. I'm in the I'm in the I'm in the blade traps. I have a concussion. I have 43 health. 43 health. Come on. No! Come on! Please. There's five seconds. Let me live. 40 health. 40. 40. 32. There's too many. 24. Oh my hey. gosh, I'm at 10 health. I'm gonna I'm, die. I'm gonna die. I'm dead. I need your help. I died. <laughs> There's a horde of them rushing after me. I died, bro. You fixed the game. Okay, they have broken into our main base, bro. There's like a hundred of them in here. I'm I'm in the horde base right now, defending it. James, J dude, I'm naked and afraid, bro. There's there's so <laughs> many. <I'm naked. laughs> they're, they're they're way faster than me. I I, I don't I know. I drink how to... an energy drink. Oh god. I'm running in the base and hoping for the best. Please defend me. <laughs> I made it. I made it. Doors are gone. Right. This place is good. ransacked, dude. Is there any guns in here? Is there any guns in here? There's a nail gun. A mini bike. Where you take, at? I can take the mini bike and go get my real bike. No. I'm off. I'm off, baby. I'm off. <laughs> 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 Are you running away from me? <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing, dude. I can't help. I need to go get my backpack and then I'll come back. I hated that so much. Oh, yeah. I'm still dealing with it. I'm coming back. Yeah, bro. Oh, 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 no, please. Dude, they destroy so much. That's why I'm trying to keep them away from the base. Oh my gosh, man, there's so many. All right, uh, so what I'm hearing is I need to look up a tutorial on how to build a corridor base. Bro, what was that? We just, <laughs> we just got obliterated. Oh my gosh, there's so many bags down here. Yeah. Oh, there was a red bag that had a lot of ammo in it. <laughs> uh, okay. All my hard work. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. All right, let's see what this truck is all about. All of my skill points went into this. It better be worth it. Oh, no way. This is this is a game changer, baby. <laughs> oh, there's five modifier slots. I never knew there was vehicle modifiers, bro. Yeah, because I've been stacking up on a couple. I think I, I think I do have a supercharger, actually. Oh. I don't know if it works. Open. Oh, my God, it does. Oh, no way. Let's see what that does. Okay. It's faster. Use that. Oh. Oh my gosh, pink. I have pink and yellow, your choice. <laughs> Days 58 through 60, me and James headed to a big city and we just started speed looting every single building because we were gonna need a lot more ammo with the zombie count cranked up to 32. My goal was to spend until day 60 looting for ammo and then when we headed back to our home, I was gonna rebuild our entire horde base with the help of a YouTube video, which I swore I would never do, but we are getting our teeth kicked in and we seriously need the help. This is a four x four truck. It should be easily climbing up this. Obviously not. <laughs> this is so stupid. 4x4 four four truck? No, this thing's like rear wheel drive, bro. All right, hold on. <laughs> this is the this dumbest is thing I've ever experienced in my entire life. Alrighty, my friends, that's all I got for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. I love you all.